let's just, let's just, let's just look. <laughs> let's just look at how beautiful. Let's do, oh my gosh. These are so pretty and these are going into my collection because I will show you why. So, okay, let's look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, honestly, have you ever seen such a pretty bracelet in your life? Hey you guys, what's going on? My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works, and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom, part-time reseller, and today I am bringing you glorious jewelry. I went to the antique store um, and I have the bag here of jewelry that I'm going to show you. Now these are the kind of things that I pick up to sell for profit. I probably have over, at least over 1500 jewelry pieces listed in my eBay store. So um, if things sit for a while, I'm okay with that because that kind of is how eBay works is you just keep listing, keep listing, keep listing, and something might sell right away and something might take a year or more to sell. So if you like that kind of thing, looking at delicious jewelry, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Welcome to my channel. And yeah, let's dig in to this jewelry. Okay, so we have this bag of jewelry and I got some really good deals on some of the things. Here's my receipt. And I'm excited to show you just some beautiful things. Um, some things were behind glass and some things were just really great deals. So I didn't video while I was in the store <laughs> because I had my mom and all three of the children in the store this time. And that was, that was fun. So, um, yeah, do you guys already see some beautiful things? Okay, let's get into these pieces. Um, shall we? Which one should we start with? Well, let's start with this one. I think this is the first one that I picked. Um, and I have my bust here. And also my Presidium gem tester, just in case. Okay. So I'm actually going to tell you the prices that I paid for these pieces because some pieces I did pay up. Um, and this was the antique store where every booth is discounted. Anywhere between like 20% to like 50%. So I believe this one was probably 25%. And so what I want to do is I want to see if these are rock crystal. Okay, but look at how beautiful these beads are. Like so gorgeous with that royal blue inside. I think these are Venetian beads. Are they Murano? That is the question. Uh, so there's like a foil in there. There's really pretty rosettes. And I don't know if, the, if these, um, these beads are rock crystals and maybe sterling silver, but we will see. I just think that it's super gorgeous nonetheless. So if it was 20% off, it was like $12. So, oh my gosh, $12 for this gorgeous thing. $12 is like getting, you know, a coffee at Starbucks and a croissant. Like seriously. Um, what would you much rather have, right? Um, so let's see. And as always, if you want to purchase anything from this video, um, I will put up on the screen my email. Make sure you um, write in the title of your email what the name of the episode is and then timestamp. So like for instance, if this is timestamp minute eight and 23 seconds or something, and you say, Rachel, I really want that Murano rose crystal necklace, how much are you willing to sell it for? Um, then we can make a deal through PayPal. So that's been working really well so far. But we are here to just really fall in love with these pieces. All right, it's going pretty high in the glass, but definitely not the rock quartz. Um, so rock quartz normally would go to the quartz amethyst citrine right there on the bottom. Um, but this one is just glass, but it is so pretty. A lot of the time when I see this faceted 
glass and it feels cold um, and it's not AB coated, I tend to think, okay, is that is that um, rock crystal? Because a lot of rock crystal came from the Art Deco period. Not always, but a lot of it is the very highly faceted rock crystal. And those can go for some good money. So yeah, this is number one. I think we'll test that later for sterling. Okay, next. <laughs> next one. This one was $9.50 with 20% off. Okay, so the first thing I saw here was these coins. I believe this is 60s or 70s. So it has all these coins. What does it say? Greek coin, maybe? Um, Emperor and I don't know. It seems like they're in a different language. And then these are all genuine, like Jasper and Quartz. Oh my gosh, this one is so pretty with the sparkle. See that? But coin jewelry and this type of bracelet. Oh, it's missing too. Maybe we can scooch some over because yeah there is like a little bit of a gap there so we'll have to figure that out. we'll have to play with this a little bit that's for sure i did not even notice that um so that's what happens when you're shopping with kids anyways this brand let's see it says um accessocraft nyc and that is a pretty good brand so I'm going to futz with this, but it is still glorious and collectible and beautiful and has a lot of things going for it. So I'm pretty excited about this one, that's for sure. Okay, next, let's do, oh my gosh, these are so pretty and these are going into my collection because I will show you why. So let's see. $10, but I think it was 25% off at least. So, but I mean, I, I cannot, I cannot even. Okay, so let's look. Let's look at these. Okay. So they are very much in this, what in the world? I swear. Okay, something is going on here. I looked these over in the store. And there was not one of these missing. And then my mom and I took them out in the car and we looked and, the, and then one of the green ones was missing. And I was like, what happened? And we're looking at both of these together in the car and this one was not missing. So now I'm like, what in the world? Where did it go? All right, now all my happiness is turning to sadness because this is gonna be even harder to find. I thought for sure I wasn't sad because I know I have um, some like green, let me just show you some like green rhinestones in here somewhere like um, this is more of a lime green, but I do have a bunch of rhinestones in here. So that, that's one thing. Maybe Hannah can help me figure this out, but now I'm going to have to get a dark brown Nevette or look in my car for a very long time. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, so let's just talk about these. These are by the brand. Crown Trifari. See that right there? And there is a copyright symbol, so that's after 1955. But, oh my gosh, now I'm a little disappointed, but let's just look at how beautiful these are. And so this is the long, skinny marquee stone, which also can be called a nevette. Juliana uses these nevettes very often. And, yeah... So these are going into my collection upstairs. It's like an ombre. So like more yellow and more brown here. So there's that. Okay. Next. This is glorious. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So stick pin. And I paid $24 with 25% off. Let's just, let's just, let's just look. <laughs> let's just look at how beautiful. 
So I got this because it looks like it has that like lava stone or lava rock. Um, it's kind of like a mottled, textured, dimpled glass. Um, and then this is a bezel set. Well, actually it's prong, but you can see all the way through it. Um, super, super pretty. And I have not seen a stick pin like this. And you know me, I just, in like a couple what sold over the weekend videos, I think, was it? Um, but I literally sold like nine stick pins in a day. <laughs> and so I'm like, ooh, someone is going to really like this. So I'm kind of curious. I want to Google Lens this with you guys to see if something else comes up. Or maybe it can give me an idea of the designer, maybe? Alright, so... Juliana look style rhinestones. Okay, we're not getting stick pins with that. And it definitely is meant to be a stick pin. Sometimes people can like do funky things where they turn brooches into stick pins and things like that. But this one actually is meant to be. So let's try again. Okay, so what are we seeing? Any stick pins? Hmm. Antique, no heat, cat, no, that's not. Shamrock, stick pin. I'm not seeing anything that looks like this. I feel like that's a good sign in my opinion. <laughs> These are just to die for. So, because I'm not finding anything, it's very much in a higher designer style. Is this like dog tooth style prong set? You know what I'm talking about? Um, or saw or something like that. I don't know. But then these are prong set, and then it has that really funky stone where Scaparelli used fun stones like that as well. So, not signed that I can see. And then this this clear one also, um, you can see all the way through it, and then the purple one at the bottom. And then these are probably just foil backed. That is just so pretty. Someone's going to love it. They're going to fall in love. I'm going to price it for $100 and they're going to say, yes, Rachel. <laughs> that is so pretty. Okay, next. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. $450. So I'm pretty sure because these were so priced so high, like $10, that I did not make a mistake in the store. I really feel that there were the rights. I mean, I checked and I checked with these as well and they are still there, but look at this frosted, like almost like a moon glow glass. Okay. Have you ever seen such pretty clip on? So these are all AB rhinestone coated. They all have the open back. I have a brooch that very much would match these. Oh my word. Yeah, that is so pretty. It is like a lavender color. And then here's the backs, not marked, nothing. But $4.50 with 25% off. Oh my gosh, I feel like anyone would have been so happy to grab these. These are such scores. This is this this is the kind of thing that is going to a collector um the right collector, I would say. Like either someone who really loves um like open back jewelry, purple jewelry, big climber statement clip on jewelry, and that kind of thing. Okay. Next this was just on a bust and it was hanging by a close thin right into it was like mixing with a lot of really really cheaper looking um necklaces and did I say a close thin I meant a paper clip and then let's look it's very dirty but look at how regal and royal it looks like I think these are glass 
yeah, glass. Looks very much like citrine, but it's not. And then guess what? There are lions, lion heads on here. So that is super awesome. People really like their lion head jewelry. I feel like you would not even be able to like really appreciate this because it really needs to be cleaned up. This one is foil backed. Yeah, it's not like high quality by any means, but it definitely has a lot of really good characteristics. 30, or I'm sorry, $3, and I'm just gonna say 25% off because I don't remember all the percentages for everything. Okay, we this was two, and these are by the brand Richelieu, right? Yes, Richelieu. Um, and Rich Richelieu, is very much known for their faux pearl jewelry. These are really nice because they are not only screw backs, but they're like the clip-ons so that it can be really comfortable on your ear as tight as you would like, last a while, and they're just a double pearl stud look like that. Yeah, and these are in excellent condition, $2, so I might have paid like $1.50 for these. So if I got these in a shop good a lot, I would have been like, yay, these are these are a definite keep. So yeah, $1.50 all day. Okay, next, let's grab this one. And then does this say, so it says $4.50. Pull this out. What does it say? Oh, this is Coro. And it's kind of, it kind of almost looks like Pegasus Coro with the, how Coro is written out, but it doesn't have the Pegasus on it. It, these definitely need to be cleaned as well. There is some verdigris on the metal on the back, which needs to be cleaned, but this, these have some really good height. Um, prong set rhinestone at the top. And then these are like, I don't know, is that a black enamel? I believe so. So yeah, Coro, Screwbacks, beautiful, yes. Okay, next we have these. Now I almost put these back, but the girls were like trying to get Beanie Babies while I was in this section. <laughs> so I, I, I basically what I did is I gave because Gideon was fussing and he wanted a Beanie Baby. He actually wanted to touch all the Beanie Babies. So I turned on Veggie Tales on my phone and gave it to him. <laughs> you know, that's just how it works. That is seriously, when you're in the antique store with three children, five and under, Veggie Tales, there we go. Um, so these are only by Sarah Coventry, but they are a very beautiful color. They're open leaves. And I haven't seen the Sarah Coventry before. They're only $3. But I wanted to Google Lens these just to see. Like, it's not like people underselling their vintage jewelry for like $6. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't. And then I couldn't put them back. And we ended up with these. So maybe we should look right now. Shall we? Shall we learn together? All right. So Google Lens... And sometimes I get surprised by Sarah Coventry, like the um, the Juliana for Sarah Coventry. So we have, exactly, okay, so someone priced it for $11 on Etsy and someone priced it for $32 on eBay. So sometimes they, yeah, so like these will tell me what they are called. Sarah Coventry Enchanted Forest Clip-On Earrings. So it's, it's telling me that the set, so there might have been bro a brooch that went, that could go with this. Um, there could have been maybe a bracelet or something. So I'm just going to go on eBay and type in Sarah Coventry, oops, Coventry Enchanted Forest. And we will see what comes up. So again, this is the brooch and earrings. Great. Someone has it for 20. Okay, so here's the brooch. Here's the earrings for 32, 21, 
So I'm just looking at my competition. Okay, so there's only three and they're all above 20. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so 30 and 21 and 32. Okay, so there's only those three listed besides this Demi Perer set. So, but maybe someone has like the brooch already and they want to complete their set. So they might not buy something like that. That's just, or this might sell. And then I have mine listed for $19.99 and I have the lowest. So that's kind of how I price things. All right, next let's get these. These are so pretty. I love these. Okay, these were $4. And let me just show you. Oh my goodness! Look at those baguette tremble, trembler stamen things. Look at this. These are so pretty. So pretty. Okay. Um, oh, these are marked. Oh, these are Crown Trifari. Okay, these are gonna be something. We're pricing these up. We're pricing these at 50 or something like that. Ridiculous. Crown Trifari, honestly, like, I will post something and sometimes drop shippers literally buy it right away at like the Crown Trifari um, because it's being shipped overseas to some, like a collector or something. And Crown Trifari is definitely like hot right now. So yay. That is so exciting. Those are so pretty. Speaking of Crown Trifari, pretty sure these are also Crown Trifari. $4. Okay, so those were four and these were four. So maybe like, I don't know, like $3-ish for these. These also need to be cleaned up. It's interesting because some antique dealers, actually I would say most, really clean their jewelry nicely. And that's why I like to... Um, buy from antique stores but a lot of these are not very clean um so we have these these are some door knockers and they're they're more of like a rich gold and not a bright gold but they're not like tarnished gold um so crown trifari right there with no copyright symbol so they might be like pre-1955 oh yes they have a patent number on the side. So yeah, I think that is definitely pre-1955. So yeah, these kind of remind me of like Marilyn Monroe, honestly. Very lovely. Clippies. Yes. Okay. Next. Oh, these are so pretty. Again, $2. Probably paid $1.50 for these. And these are black glass. Okay, so clip on, no mark. But look at this. I would not be surprised if these were unmarked twice. Again, they have like that that dark gray black japanned look. These look kind of like horse bit, right? So very like equestrian chic prong set, um, clip dangles. But they also kind of look like those door knockers that you like, you know, that you actually use to knock on the door. Um, but yeah, these are so pretty, unique, very unique. Okay, we got these for $5. So, oh my gosh, <gasps> look at these. These are insane. These are insane. Faux pearl and the, like, um, I wouldn't say AB coated, but they are colorful rhinestones. Like the color is coming from inside, which makes me think that somehow they're like foil backed with the different colors in some way. Um, very, very sparkly. Okay. Here's the back, no mark again, but in really great shape. And these 
definitely go all the way up into your ear, maybe the size of your ear. If you have small ears, aren't they so fun? These are insane. I love those. Okay, that was that was so fun. Okay, let's look at these. Oh my gosh, these are like my favorite. These are going into my collection unless someone really wants them. Okay, so these are by Park Lane, which is not like a big woohoo, not a big bolo. Definitely good designer, good quality, high quality, very beautiful things. But look at this glorious enamel like feather with these gorgeous pink, bubblegum pink dangles. And when I see something fun like this that's different that I have never seen, it's like, wow, if I haven't seen something like this, someone else is going to be like, I need that <laughs> for my collection. I mean, that's how I think. Um, and these are just glorious. So these were 18 with like 25% off probably. So yeah, they are so fantastic and really great shape. So yes. Okay, we have those. Oh, these are like some of my favorites. Okay, let's get this one first. Okay, this was five. This person, this is one of those examples where I don't think they knew what they had. So $5 um, and it is marked sterling right there at the bottom, right there, sterling. And not only that, but these are open back rhinestones, high quality, like extremely gorgeous, extremely open back, so sparkly. Let's see if these are rock quartz, just, just to see. Um, it's going to the top of glass again. So definitely moving. I'm trying these, these little baby ones. Okay, so I believe these are all glass, but super pretty glass. Super pretty. Um, let me just make sure. It says sterling, and then it says, well, it says stir, and then C, D, or C, triangle, something like that. I'm going to have to look a little bit more into this, but I might even put like bridal wedding in the title. It is stunning. We'll, we'll put that, eh, I kind of trust this, but I might test it later just because it does look rhodium plated and when it's really shiny and potentially rhodium plated, you kind of have to scratch past the rhodium to double check to see if it's sterling. All right, let's look at these. These might be some of my favorite as well. Maybe my favorite. <gasps> okay. Okay. Let's just, let's just all, what did I say I paid for these? Where did it go? 10? Okay, these are so worth the 750 or whatever. Beyond worth it. Okay, so these might be a Juliana. Yeah, they, they might potentially be a Juliana. They're not marked. And I've had Juliana's, confirmed Juliana's that have the same thing here. Look at this pink. Look at the Nevettes. Look at the sparkle. Prong set. Like a ruby red and pink and seriously gorgeous. So these have a lot of the characteristics of a Juliana. How it's made with the prong set and the different colors that work together really nicely, these long navettes. And um, there's no puddling on the back, but the back does look really good, um, really nicely made. But if you saw the figure eight puddling, which kind of looks like two circles puddled together, that is indicative of Juliana. But these don't have that, which is, it doesn't mean that it's not. Um, but I would have to look up on isitjuliana.com and go through their clip-ons just to verify. But I strongly suspect that these are Juliana clip-on earrings. Okay. 
we have 750 what are we into here oh this one definitely looks bridal 750 is what's on the tag all right what is this does it say anything well let's look does it say anything on here oh it does emmons okay and look at this look all right we're gonna put it on the bus and then i will show you guys how stunning and it's on a chain okay so the sorry you guys just bear with me the beads are strung on a chain instead of like like um the regular material okay we're gonna move the tag and then let me show you guys up and back Do you see how beautiful that is? And it looks like this bottom one wants to fl like flare out with the swag a little bit more, but the tag is holding on to that one. But look at how how beautiful, fully encrusted pave rhinestone leaves. Um, I don't know if these are glass, but definitely strung on a chain. And then look at this clasp. Look at these rhinestones. So a decorated hardware clasp thing. So pretty. All right, let's go back down. We have a few more things. So I grabbed this. It was 14 together. And there was, see this? The little baguettes are loose in there. So we are already having problems, but I couldn't resist this one. Look at this. I don't think this one is missing any. So let's just, let's just feast our eyes. Oh, oh my goodness. This is so sparkly. Yellow rhinestone, so a dark yellow and a light yellow. Swirled together. Baguettes are separating these. And then a very beautiful, dainty little drop right there. It's like a V-shape. And then this one is a Coro. It's marked right there, Coro. Um, and then this is what the little drop looks like. Looks like a little bullet. Let me just put that one aside. And then we have one that is a little bit similar-ish. No. Is this the, oh, is this the bracelet that goes with it? It does have a safety chain. So, you see that? Okay, let's see if this one's marked at all. Once I saw that the other one was in good shape and I and I would be willing to spend, you know, the 14 minus the 25% off, I really didn't I saw that there was missing things and I was like whatever. So this one says also coral. So I'm wondering maybe these went together. So we will see. Um it looks like we have one, two, three, four five we have five missing and only three in here so this might need a little bit more help than than uh i'm willing to give it at this point but again if hannah can point me in the direction she has a whole video on how to measure baguettes and um buy them and things like that and definitely coro could potentially be worth it to go out of my way and purchase those things but Again, um, if anyone wants to buy that and fix it themselves, you know, send me a good offer. Send me like something, I, you, you know, even if you lowball me, that's something to, to work with. You don't have to feel shy or embarrassed or anything like that or think that I will be mad at you because that is not the case at all. Okay, let's look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay. You guys, honestly, have you ever seen such a pretty bracelet in your life? in your life so it, i just totally have this thing for the pink and that antiqued gold tone the light pink and the antiqued gold these actually feel like the like glass yeah i'm pretty sure it has the glitter in it um and it's in that like style where it kind of looks West Germany, but this is definitely higher quality than a lot of the West Germany. Wait, 
Are there any makers? No. So here's the back. So all these links. And I don't know what this is, but it is so pretty. I just could not resist. And I'm going to be wearing this. So 35 with like 25% off maybe. Um, and it does have a safety chain. Uh, this is this is a collector piece for for sure. So some of you guys might be like, that is insane to buy that for $30 and try to sell it online. But there's like, I think I've explained it in my other videos that there's like a difference um, when you find something really special and just like having your own collector price and some people are willing to pay it. So we're going to see if this is anything first, if anything pops up. Um, so... Some people, well, somebody put book chain, but that's not what that looks like to me. So we have something similar-ish for 250, <laughs> 1930s. Okay, I'm still looking. There's one that's a little bit similar right here that says Weiss Baguette bracelet. That doesn't seem like it makes sense. Weiss Baguette. So that, yeah, see, it tricks you. That is not the same thing, <laughs> um, for sure. So, and then this one also says Weiss Baguette, which is not when you click on it. So that's not helpful to me. Mm. Oh, here's one. Unsigned cell row. Is that what I have? Do I have a cell row? I mean, that is kind of what, eh, it's not the same, but it definitely is in the realm. Oh, here's another one, unsigned Celro, where it has the pink stone and the faux pearls. And then let's look at the back. Very similar. So Celro and Cellini is a definite Bolo brand. I think I was live when I had pulled one out, a Celro and Cellini. And someone had said, that is a Celro and Cellini. Oh, vintage Celro Cellini chunky link bracelet. This kind of, okay, this is what, this is, here's, here's where I'm going with this. Okay. So let's just look, take a look at these links here. Those look just like my links, right? Okay. Let's keep looking at the construction. So yeah, the construction looks very much um, similar. So I'm kind of like thinking that we are getting close to what this could be. Like a Celro and Cellini bracelet, that's for sure. And if, if it is, <laughs> like this one is 250 for the Celro and Cellini, but yeah. I mean, so romantic. So romantic. This is incredible. Okay. So that was so fun. Wow. Okay. Let's see. So this was 25% off, but it was $25. So let's look. And it is brand new. You guys look. Oh, look at this. So this is a full purr. Looks like we have to smooth that out. So, oh, 30% off. So a lot of these were 30% off. So KBH, which is almost all the jewelry that I got, was 30% off. Um, $25, and it says Style Guild Jewelry Set. It's blue AB coated. I don't think these are marked. So let me just pull one out. Yeah, I don't think that it is. So it might be in the original box, which says style guild original. Definitely looks um, like coral quality. Oh yeah, this has definitely never been taken out. These are all stapled in there. And I don't even know if I would have a way to measure this. This is just absolutely glorious. Isn't that so fun? I was like shocked that this was $25 with 30% off because it is so pretty and it's the full purr in its little box and the box itself is so pretty 
Look at this. Wow, this is like a little treasure. This is a little treasure. Okay, so next. This is probably the thing I paid most for, maybe? Let's see, how much? So it says part of a set and then $44. Okay, let me just show you. Let me just show you. I have not seen anything like this. So it has kind of like peacock color coded um, beads. So pretty, super long, like at least 44 inches. So we can like double this up quite a bit, maybe triple it. And this is by the brand Park Lane, no, Judy Lee, I'm sorry. Judy Lee, so this is a Demi Perer. It has um, two of the jewelry pieces in the set. Look at these cha-chas. This is something I would pr price over $100. Like, that, this is why I'm, I, uh, yeah, this is something. Just these earrings alone, I feel like have so many amazing qualities to it. It's the cha-cha, it's that like really fun iridescent with the blue and the purple, this like antique gold tone, and these fun iridescent glass beads. So this just looks, they just look super high quality. These are metal beads as well, so they're not coated um, gold, and it's just in excellent excellent tip top quality and shape and yeah and how long this is so a lot of really good things going for it and I'm just a I'm just a sucker for this color I really am like these colors together yes 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 um so yeah all right so that was that Shall we test these with my testing acid? Let's just see. Um, we'll make sure that the sterling is sterling. We'll get my 18 karat gold acid out and then we'll test the clasp just to see. And so I use the 18 karat gold um, testing acid because it shows up a bright blue when I will test. So I'm going to try to do the back of this as best as I can. All right, hopefully, hopefully that was good. We will see. Um, so the top one is the necklace. The bottom one is the brooch. Okay. All right, let's show the results. So the necklace toggle, not sterling, totally fine. And the brooch is sterling, which yay, it confirmed that it was sterling for us. So awesome. Okay, you guys, what was your favorite piece? Really like, oh, I'm so excited about these. I'm excited to start listing them and putting some of these in my collection and woohoo. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this jewelry haul. Tell me what your favorite piece is. I'm actually recording this the night before we go on a long trip um, with the kids. All six of us are going in a vehicle. It's an SUV, but it has a third row that can pop up. So pray for us. This, is, this video might come at, um, out either later this week or we might already be home, but Sun prayers um, because it's a long five and a half hour drive, which makes it to be like more like seven hour drive because we stop to change diapers and eat and this and that. So I am looking forward though. We're just literally going to be relaxing, grilling, swimming in the lake, all the fun things in up north Wisconsin. We go, this, I think this is my third time going this year with the kids. So I'm really looking forward to it. Possibly going to get some um, antique jewelry. Oh, speaking of antique jewelry, do you guys remember I got these like button clippies? Where's the other one? Here's the other one. So I got these in um, those bins that you can sift through. 
and they did not match so maybe I will find matches. So this one is Crown Trifari and this one is Castle Cliff. So both good brands to look out for. Anyways, let me know how you guys are doing. How is your summer going? Um, and that is what's new with me. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, join our Facebook group. It is a, um, a group of a lot of people who know a lot about jewelry and some people who are just learning about jewelry and people that just like to share their collection of jewelry. So go ahead and hit that link down below for the Facebook group. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. Oh, or yard sailing, still yard sale season, antique shopping, all the things so you guys can live generously. Bye guys.